Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day, and welcome to the Global Grow Show. Hey there, hi there, ho there, it's Gord. You're hurting hippie, hurting a little more than usual. Well, maybe it is usual lately, but I'm trying to fix it. How y'all doing? How's your grow going? Stay tuned. We've got a lot to show. We've got pictures from Blind Neil. We've got pictures from Bart, that friggin' guy from Hamilton. We have Sick Mix new grow starting. And we have some pictures of my harvest. So stay tuned, my friends. And who have we got? We got Blind Neil. Someone's fucking with this channel. <laughs> yeah, I wish they'd just give you some money, eh? Neil, I hope that ends. Friggin' guy from Hamilton is here. How you doing, Bart? Smoking guns, ma. Hello, buddy. How are you? Good to have you here. How's your grow starting? You haven't sent me any pictures. I'm pretty sure you're on the email, aren't you, Chris? Aren't you, Guns? Magic Man is in the house. How you doing, Magic? Good to have you. Doing better? I hope. And Tin Man. Welcome, fellow Calgarian. How you doing? And welcome to the Grow Show. Yes, we cut something down yesterday, and I'm going to show you just one little piece of it. Uh, I'm trying to find the best one. Hang on, guys, because I cut. Yeah, this is the best one. All right, here we go. No, not quite yet. I have to mute it and I have to share it. Coming or going, lurking or chatting, remember to tap the like. Thank you, my dear friend Neil. Thank you. And now let's show this video. Let me move out of the way so that you can see it. Okay, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? That one came apart pretty good. The other one was a little more difficult. There you go. Bushy, 240, been a little bit, been a minute or two. How you doing? How are you? I had to make it rhyme. I now have two plants hanging in that tent. I am trying to keep the humidity at around 60%. 55, somewhere around there right now, it's 48. Trying to keep the temperature below 70, which is difficult because this house is about 70. I hate using Fahrenheit, but oh well. Big Mo in the house. Have a puff. Yes, good idea, guns. I will not be talking on a joint or a pipe or the bong. I will only be dabbing. I'm still fighting this dry socket. It's one of the worst pains I've ever had. It goes all the way down my neck, all the way up, and then into the cheekbone and into the eye. It, it's tough. And today, it seems to be away from this area. But holy crap, my neck is just so tight, it hurts. 
Friends, I have some brand new tokes to show you because I just had, actually, let's start slow here. Yes, we're going to have a puff guns, but I got to show you the latest lawless victory. I'm going to do a full review for all of you. My goodness, you got to see this. <laughs> I mean, look at this beautiful girl. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. I'll get some focus here. I'll get some focus. And it smells so beautiful, but even better than that. Look at the rosin. You can tell it's fresh. To have amber, very light amber rosin from flower is just ama amazing yeah buds on steroids isn't that amazing in the legal market absolutely beautiful so let's have i'm gonna have a talk of this and i could sure use a little bit of pain relief right now so here we go and i don't know how i got that hair on it but there we go Friends, Big Mo, yeah, that that's that strain, flawless victory, is amazing, absolutely amazing. Let's all have a toke. I'm waiting for a couple of cheers from you folk, and if I wince, it's my neck. My neck is just killing me. Can't even swallow properly. By the way, who saw Flight 3 of SpaceX Starship? Wasn't it cool? Flight 4 is coming real soon. Yeah, I could count on you guns. There's a cheers. Big Mo, how you doing? Good to have you here. Clifford, in the house. How you doing, Sasquatch man? Cheers to you, too. Bushy cheers. Magic cheers. Good times and good vibes. Cheers. This stuff is so nice. There's a chocolate to it. There's a real beautiful sweetness behind it. It's just beautiful. Uh, the pain, Neil, I haven't had it checked. Um, <laughs> because I keep causing it by having more joints. I'm hoping that now that I just lay off the joints, quit trying that, every day it's gotten a little bit better. But if it's still really bad by this afternoon, I'm gonna call and make an appointment for tomorrow because it's just too much. Surgery in a couple of weeks, what do you haven't done, Cliff? And that's so cool that we're that I'm live at the VA. Hi to you all. We all appreciate you veterans. Oh, that bridge in Baltimore. Yeah, wasn't that amazing? I watched that go down. That's an amazing thing. They're starting to think that maybe it was because that ship was running dirty fuel. And because of the dirty fuel, it gunged up the engines and the brakes and nothing worked. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Folks, let's have one more dab. And then by 9.15, sorry, by 15 minutes after, we're going to show the pictures of people's grow and of my harvest. Yeah, uh, the, at least that boat radioed ahead and said, hey, I'm going to smash into this bridge. I can't stop the ship. 
So they were able to stop traffic on the ship. And when the ship hit the bridge, there was six or seven cars. And those people are very likely gone. So very minimal loss. I like how you say of life. The bridge can be replaced. Steel can be rebuilt and put back together. Working on knee and finally getting last of the shrapnel out of your body. This toke, Eric Haldi, this toke is to Sasquatch man and his upcoming surgery and getting rid of the last of the shrapnel. Cheers. This one is to Sasquatch. This one is for all veterans. Thank you for your service. I know we have a fair amount of veterans that follow this channel. And every single one of you is appreciated beyond what you could know. And uh, do, 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 I I really want, I'm going to go with Blueberry Funk. Long weekend, Easter weekend. Folks, because my young son has things going on at his house, I will not be spending Easter with him. That's two years in a row, so I'm going to make sure I get them for next Easter. Yeah, Neil, six still missing. Well, they, they'll be found in their car at the bottom of the river, or maybe never found, hard to say. Gotta love that funk, blueberry funk. I do love the funk, I love the dank, I love even more. I love baked. I absolutely love baked. That I by the way, folks, oh everybody, the cheers to Cliff. Here we go. I'm talking really slow. This I don't think hurts me. But absolutely, when I opened this last jar of baked and I was digging through and I saw lots of big buds and then I pulled out that. That, my friends, is a 7 gram, 7.2 gram bud. And look at the light trying to shine on it. Shine on, shine on, harvest moon. If I get close enough, you see some purples, but it just doesn't want to. I want to hang on to that. I have already squished 14 grams of it. I've already squished a half ounce, and I got two grams there. and two grams there. I should put them in the same jar. Four grams of beautiful, beautiful rosin. Clifford, that one was for you, and holy guacamole. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Bart. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it just amazing? I can't wait to do the review, but in my reviews, I smoke, and I just, I gotta take a couple of days off of smoking, dabbing, even that I'm going very slow, very slow. I need to fix this. I really do. A little bit of cannabis in me and my neck is calming a bit. I have a really good uh, CBD oil for my neck. Stupid camera. Oh, I hate that camera. I don't hate anything. Yeah, friggin' guy from Hamilton, dank all the way. Baked knows what 
they are doing. And now I need to prepare. Bear with me, folks, while I prepare to share. Okay, I can't keep that rhyme going. We've got to share everybody's grow. We're going to start with that friggin' guy from Hamilton. And his grow, which is, I think, week three of flower. So let's share that screen. There we are. Take it over, Bart. You're starting to get the THC on those leaves. Look at that. Absolutely pretty. Absolutely pretty. Oh, yeah, top papa. Established 1961. Long frickin' time ago, hey? Long frickin' time ago. Look at that. All the THC is just starting to form, and I love it when that happens. Absolutely beautiful. Badass cookies. OG. 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 How do you tell the difference between the two right now, Brother Bert? Yeah, week three of flower. You told me yesterday. I actually stored that one. Cheers, coffee. Oh. It'll get better. It'll get better. That's purple critical kush. I hate edibles, though, Neil. I really do. I may have to just lay off of pot altogether. Because, oh, my neck is killing me. The jaw, not so much today. The head, not so much today. But the neck is just killing me. Purple and critical should go good together. Absolutely. Badass cookies. OG has smaller buds. Tight little nuggets right now. Look at that. So that's critical kush. Absolutely growing and then smoking your own weed is absolutely beautiful. I just finished smoking some of that a couple of days ago. You're about to see what that turned out to be. That looks really pretty. That's a nice picture there, Bert. Certainly that plant recovered really well. Eric, when will you be growing your first one? It's really a cool feeling. It really is a cool feeling to have that within your within your grasp, to look after and raise it. I felt so bad cutting her down, except I know that they keep living. That may have hurt those girls when I cut them, but it didn't kill them. And if you want me to talk more about that, I will. But it didn't kill them. I love that beginning of flower. We're about to see that with Neil, too. Friggin' guy from Hamilton. Bart, my friend, you did really well. Because for those who don't know, he had these when they were younger about two weeks three weeks in they got really cold and really small and and yellow and almost died and there is the final picture of bart's grow badass cookies on the left critical <laughs> I'm forgetting Gary Miller in the house. I missed that Gary and Tim Price too. 
sorry if I miss you, speak more, speak more. Now, I think the next one is, yep, that is Blind Neil's Blind Man Growing Weed. I love that, my dear friend, Neil. That is his first week of flower. That is so cool. That is an auto flower, my friends. sharing for a minute just to let the lag stop and then we will share again you know what we're going to do i'm taking a quick bathroom break i'm sorry friends we're going to run the intermission i will be right back i promise you a little longer than usual but i am back yeah cindy what strain is cindy and let's show that again let's get on with where we were cindy is pretty don't you know very pretty Ricky in the house. How are you doing, Ricky? And I think we have one more of Neil's. Yeah, there's a really good picture. There's a good shot. She's looking great. Going to have a nice big cola at the top and a whole bunch of ones around the edges. Absolutely beautiful. Auto flowers are so neat. Citrus pie auto flower. Yeah, citrus pie. I like anything citrus, Neil. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. And here we go. Birch Avenue, don't you know? My grow is hanging upside down now. We did her. We got her done. And still on the left is Tulsi. On the right is Ivanka. And 
even though they look very similar and they are both new Gaddy. The ones on the right purpled a lot. The ones on the left did not. And the ones on the right foxtailed. The ones on the left did not. Very, very interesting grow. And I have a feeling I'm, I'm going to get a quarter pound, maybe even a half pound out of this. Because those are really dense, dense buds. And some of them are fist size. And I already showed you that. Me cutting her down. And me cutting the other one down. videos and finally sick mick in the house sick mick starting he dropped them all he had to replant them all he knocked them over they had a power outage and he was heading to work he's he even texted me he says this is crazy i'm trying to head to work the house has no lights there's no lights anywhere no power and then a few minutes later, oh, crap, I knocked my plants over. He knocked them all over, dirt everywhere. He had to redo them. Now, we have Deb in the house. Texas has joined the building. How does that work? Tin Man, thank you about my buds. Yeah, it depends. The, the buds will get smaller, but that's okay. That's okay. They just got to get rid of their moisture. But I didn't let these get all that moist in the first place. So they should. The only thing I don't like about drying is in about two more days, because I did this yesterday, by day three, all of a sudden, the chlorophyll smell fills the house. And for at least three or four days, it smells like somebody dropped a big bale of hay in the middle of your living room. Deb, how are you doing? Lots and lots of water for me today. I, I also think I haven't been helping myself. We had really bad snowfall, really strong, cold, blizzard, all that shit. So I haven't gotten out in many, many days. Yesterday was my first walk down to the store and back. I've got to do that again today. So people are real. Lots of people here today, but everyone's quiet. Speak up, my dear friends. Speak up. Oh, shit. Deb, I'm sorry. She has a spring cold. Feels like shit. You know, I've been wondering if part way through this, I caught a cold too. Because some of the things that I feel are more cold related than tooth related. And I keep checking. I'm not infected because if I were, I would have a fever. I have no fever. I have no swelling that I can tell. I did buy one of these. When I heat it up and I can put it around here, man, I feel good. And because it's here, I sleep this way. I have bad sinuses, so I sleep on this side. And that's the side with the pain. So... I exacerbated at night, and morning is always my worst time. Yeah, it's about to get real nice, Tin Man. 
Uh, today it's already minus one and it's going to plus six today, zero tomorrow, minus three the next day, and snow, and then back up again. Crazy fucking weather. There is Steve Robertson. How's your wife, Steve? How's Clicky? I've been keeping her in my prayers. I do promise I will talk to, I talked to the doctor last week and they said sometimes it can take three to four weeks for dry socket to heal. And I damn well don't want to go three or four weeks without smoking the joint, you know? But I'll do what I gotta do to stay here with all of you. And should I have Easter Sunday church? She got released yesterday. We're having a dab, Steve. We're having a dab to Colette. I've got that right, I hope. To Colette. Ah, uh, Neil is out here. <laughs> You're pretty high. That's okay. You you did get pretty high with I Love Weed, Troy. Where is Troy? He said he was coming today. Good old McAfee and Papua New Guinea coffee. And get a sativa raring to go right on, Magic. You've been quiet, too. And this is, too. This is a cheers. Ah, come on. This is a cheers to Clicky, our good friend Steve's wife, who was in the hospital, but she's doing good. I'm going to have some more of that flawless victory that I just made yesterday. Absolutely brilliantly beautiful. And if you want to see what it's like, See, crumbling. That's not easy to do. Cheers, y'all. I see a whole bunch of cheers. Gary, Neil, Deb, Tin Man, Steve. See, I don't. I only breathe in. I don't suck it. That's what she said. But I will tell you, two days ago, when I first got this, I had to roll a joint. I rolled I rolled the joint and it was a bit too tight. And when I sucked to get the <laughs> when I choked, I could feel it hurt. Like I know. I just freshly damaged this two days ago. Thanks, Mo, for sharing the link. Thank you. Yeah, Neil, too bad you deleted that. I would like to have seen what happened. Cheers. And I just might, the way it's feeling today, I just might call the dentist anyway. I got nothing else to do today. Uh, if the neck trouble would go away. See, I broke my neck when I was 30. And I've had bad neck ever since. 
So having nerve issues because of my jaw travel down the nerves of my neck causes spasms and creates problem with the neck. It exacerbates a different problem. Fucking shitty. Fucking shitty, man. Shitty, man. Don't like it when that happens. I almost feel like taking my teeth out, but I would not do that online. I did it once. Everybody, thank you for the cheers for our friend's wife. And meanwhile, I'm going to put some of this on my neck. I hope you don't mind, but it helps, and it's getting worse, maybe because I'm token, right? I just don't like edibles. I just don't like edibles. I'm not an edible guy. I used to be. I ain't no more. My young son must be busy. He's getting ready for work. I know that. Oh, he's doing dishes. I could just hear him now. And how is Big Mo? How is everybody? Don't you know? I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that, but I'm pretty high. I needed that. I needed that. I really think I just need to relax and not do too much. I do need to get out in this beautiful weather, get some more sun, but but not work hard. And give it one more day without joints and with few dabs, few. I do have tincture. So I can have THC or CBD by tincture. I can do that too. Yes, more snow coming Thursday and Friday. That, that, that's Calgary. That's Calgary. We're so up and down. Those mountains are beautiful, but there are pluses and minuses to being right next to it. Steve Tin Man's talking about uh, Calgary. Calgary's just going to get, it doesn't even say much snow. We're supposed to get 80% chance of snow Thursday and Friday, but we're going to be at minus one, minus three. So it's not going to be terrible. Yeah, March just wants to really beat the crap out of us, doesn't it? It came in really quiet. And it's leaving, just punching us in the face. Mm. I keep going back and forth on, do I call the dentist again? And maybe go in and have them have a look at it earlier rather than later. Got nothing to do today. I wonder if there's a car nearby because they're far away. Nope. Nope, no car anywhere near me. So that kind of, there's no way I'm paying the $30 taxi one way to go there for them to just say you were smoking you hurt your dry socket it's going to take longer to heal big mo purple hand waving no steve uh, you you must have missed it steve no i cut them down uh last night Last night, I can, uh, let me show this. I'll share this because then it doesn't, 
affect things too much. There we go. That's what it looks like inside there, but no lights. It's dark inside there. So there we go. There are two very good and heavy plants that did me well. 164 days of growing. 86 days of flower. 12 weeks of flower. Deb, you're dry trimming today. I'll be dry trimming in two weeks. I hate trimming. It's hard on the hands. It's hard on the eyeballs. But it's got to be done, right, Deb? Yeah, I'm, I am looking forward to that. I can show you, actually. I can show you. I took a few pictures just before I took them down. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That might be one of my favorites. Yep, 12 weeks of flower, Gary, and still only maybe 10 or 15 percent amber trichomes and i've got pink and purple trichomes deb you must be excited how long do you cure them after the drying you're trimming now so you you just finished drying how long will you cure i cure six to nine weeks i start taking stuff out at six weeks All your ants are heavy smokers. Uh -uh. That one there, see the other plant just didn't purple. The other plant didn't purple and it's so perfect that those don't need trimmed much at all. So that is it is harvested. It is the final couple of legs. Finish trimming, uh, sorry, finish drying 10 to 14 days. I'm going to let it dry real nice and then trim carefully and then bottle it and. <laughs> Deb, I don't always wait to cure that long. Depends on if I need something to smoke. When you've got this much stuff, see, what I'm going to do is on the day that I put it to cure, I'll keep a little bit of it to smoke fresh, uncured. And then I'm going to leave it alone. For two weeks, I will burp it twice a day. In the third week, I'll burp it once a day. And in the fourth week, I'll burp it every second day. And then weeks five and six, I don't open them at all. And then week six, I start taking some out of one jar and let the rest go to nine weeks. The more you cure, the more THC you'll have. Steve, thank you about the, I do think I did well. I, I overstressed, I did not, I should have moved the, a shoulda, woulda, coulda. Here's a shoulda, woulda, coulda for you all. Near the end of harvest, when one plant was, wasn't was quite as far along as the other, I should have lifted the light off and backed off to about 75% of the light. I shoulda. I didn't. I kept the light close and it was full. And so therefore, one of the plants started to foxtail. So I caused some foxtailing. Foxtailing just looks bad and actually creates new additional growth that wouldn't have been there before. So it's not a horrible thing. It just looks bad. Oh, 
Oh, it does partly cure while you're drying. Absolutely, it does. But the longer you cure, see, this is my theory, and I've read a few growers who agree with this theory, is that the plant doesn't die when you clip it. It just changes its metamorphosis. It changes its way of living. It is now sending all its nutrients to convert into THC, into the flower. And it continues to do that at a very slow rate all through the curing process. It does finally die. But I wonder when. Boy, I could use that heat on my neck, friends. My neck hurts. Yeah, you know, that made up my mind for me. I know I keep returning to this, but that made up my mind for me is the fact that I don't, I can't rent a car to go to the doctor and see if I'm okay, uh, tells me I should just stay at home and look after myself. Oh, Steve, me too. I'm looking forward to squishing my, <laughs> squishing my garden. The squish of my garden. I like that. That may even have to be a title. And Neil, those roots, save your roots. Save your roots. It's a big job. It's a hard job. You've got to boil it for like 12 hours or even a day. And then you've got to dry it completely. And then I believe you got to boil it again and then dry it completely and then grind it. I'll look that up. But it, but cannabis roots are so good for you. Yeah, I have no fever, Dan. That I have kept, kept checking if I have a fever. So it isn't infected. It's just... I. When I, when I draw from this, it's a, you're breathing. That's normal breathing, especially if you take it slow. But sucking on a pipe or sucking on or drawing fast or sucking on the joint, I keep exacerbating it. I keep hurting it. And every time I do that, it's going to take longer and longer to heal. And I'm not a patient man. Yeah, I, I, you know what, Neil? I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look that up because even though it's too late for this harvest for me, Hang plant with roots. Yeah, I want to look that up. If it's something positive, it's something we should bring to this show. So thank you, Neil. Thank you. That that is you're going to find Neil. Uh, th this show, at least for me and for a few other people, is a helpful tool while you're growing you know once a week you can pop in and talk to a bunch of people who have grown before and especially if you're growing and all of a sudden you notice some yellowing around the leaves or the leaves are curling up or they're or they're you know so many different things you can come to this channel and ask people share pictures do those kind of things. It, it really helps. Yeah. My arm hurts when I do this, Doc. Stop doing it. That works. I Yeah, Neil, I, I've used the collective knowledge of this group as well as just researching in YouTube and going with best practices. So like 
Steve Robertson just started using fish fertilizer, homemade fish fertilizer, which I'm going to do for my next grow. So check into that. That is as ancient as you get. The the uh, it in Asia, in the Eastern Asia, they used fish fertilizer to help everything grow. Has anyone ever tried a Brenda Gant fresh carrot cake with pineapple, pecan, and coconut added in the batter? It only takes four or six hours for prep when baking is the shortest time to wait. <laughs> oh, magic. I, I don't do any baking. I used to bake with my mom all the time, but she didn't. I did it because I wanted time with mom, not because I liked baking. The fish fertilizer is working well, eh? Yeah, I'm going. I am absolutely going to make some of my own fish fertilizer. I got to buy a bunch of jars that I can use for for it, uh, and some fish, and start rotting them. Yeah, one th one thing I'm doing is I'm swishing with salt water four, five, six, seven times a day. So I'll keep the infection away, but I think I really just got to be patient. I keep going back to that. Making the lab is the trick, Korean gardening way. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, you sent me that link. It was really, it was really fun to watch. Uh, owie, something hurt there. Catch some rock bass and sunfish in the river. Can't get much fresher than that. Oh, for sure. Except I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to keep any fish. Uh, Tin Man, you're a fisherman. Uh, the Bow River has the best fly fishing in North America, or one of the top in North America. But in Calgary waters, you have to catch and release. You can't keep them. So for me, I'm going to have to buy some dead fish. But it's OK, because no, you can't. I don't think you can keep game fish. Yeah, most Alberta rivers, they, they unless uh, Gordy can. My young son, there's Gordy. Howdy, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to Gordy. He's native. Yeah, go figure. So, hey, uh, where are you? Hey, uh, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Oh, can't do it. Anyways, Gordy can fish and catch and keep because the the native people are immune to those rules. <laughs> Steve just said any Indian can help you. <laughs> but whenever I say that, Steve, one of my three kids that are Indian will say, but daddy, I'm not I'm from, from India. India. And boy, I'm going to get in trouble for using that. No, I think the natives can. I, I really think they can, but let's check. Oh. Catch and release only on the Bow River. And and they can only okay, let me get back to the show. 
Neil, you're allowed to fish without license. I I know, I just looked it up. I don't think he can. I, I think wherever the river runs through native territory, there they can fish. And so I believe uh, up by Camrose, a lot of that area where the bow runs through it, they can fish there. But I'm going to find out more. Because, heck, if we can get some free fish, just rent a car, go drive. I used to be a good fisherman, but I was a creek fisherman. You know, it's funny. My neck is feeling better. The rub helped. But now my throat hurts. Fucking being old. Oh, 65 and older don't need a license in Alberta. I got two more years to go. Two more years to go. Oh, Steve, don't say sorry. I know you meant well. We don't take offense in this. I always say, if anyone ever takes offense to something I said, then shame on them. Because I never gave it. The verb there is take. They took offense. They took what I said, and drew a fence out of it. It wasn't there in the first place because I I seriously would never offend people in an underhanded way. It ain't a part of me. I can say I've never done it. Can I say I've never offended people on purpose? No. I've offended people on purpose when I'm mad at somebody. I'm going to cause them some offense. But but anything I say in normal conversation will, if it has undertonings that people take offense to, they took it. I didn't give it. Oh, we only have two minutes left. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, the evidence will be gone. The fish will be gone in two weeks. It's amazing how they just break down into nothing. I'm already stuck in my ways, Steve. I am. Oh, Mindapur. Mindapur, I think I've been there. Well, thank you, Tin Man. Thank you. Yeah, I am stuck in my ways. I was always called Chief Round Eye growing up, or they called me also Little Daddy. I don't know why. I mean, I, I, you guys see me. I'm six foot two. Well, you know what, uh, Neil? That is really cool that you get that additional benefit to something that isn't a benefit. Being blind is awful. But, yeah. Well, I can't say it's awful. I don't know. I've always been worried about it because it runs in my family. Macular degeneration. My grandfather by 70 was, was CNIB blind. He had a cane. My mom, it took until she was about 75 and she was in pretty bad shape, but could still see everything, but had a big hole. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything about that. And yet, I've had no issues. Yet. And there's an optician in the house. Yeah, there is an optician in the house. It works with three top-notch eye doctors. So, folks, we have 30 seconds left of the show. And then it's time for me to just relax, maybe go have a bath, maybe have some edibles and see if that can relax my muscles. Because I definitely have a whole bunch of soft gels, THC, that I can take. 
So I want to thank each and every one of you. Cliff, if you're still listening, we're with you. Two weeks from surgery, we're with you, pal. Uh, Steve, happy your wife is feeling better. Neil, thank you for the blind Neil raid that I always get on this show. And every single one of you, Tin Man, Deb, Magic, Gary, I'm, I'm trying to get y'all, and I know I'm going to miss one or two of you. I think Bushy was there today, too. Did your Sasquatch say something about a bong rip? No, no <laughs> bong rips. Uh, so, peace and cheers. Love and harmony. Look after yourselves, and we will see you Friday morning. Come hell or high water. I love you all. Peace.